I'd like to show you an example that sometimes less is more when treating the thyroid. Um, the patient here is a person noticing a growth on the front part of her neck in the area of the thyroid and that growth um, turned out to be a large cyst, a large thyroid cyst. If you look at it in the ultrasound, you can see that all the dark parts in here, that's uh, a liquid. It would be interesting to know what that liquid is because there are actually two common options. The first one would be um, remains of an inflammation where thyroid tissue has been destroyed and there's it's basically a hole within the cyst filled up with post-inflammatory liquid. That's something that we see a lot of time. Um, the cyst, however, is a growing structure and the diameter is uh, almost five centimeters. So that's pretty large. And it looks swollen actually from the inside. There's, there's even pressure palpable. If you, if you put your hand on her neck, you can, it feels like a tennis ball that is pretty hard. So this is indicative of a, of a liquid sometimes um, found in tumors, tumors that secrete liquid, and this liquid has no place to go, so it fills up an inside structure. In this case, however, there is no real tumor suspicious tissue to be found. Um, still, the patient saw a doctor, he made the same examinations I did and recommended surgery, surgical removal of the entire thyroid with explanations like this could be something detrimental, it could be cancer or it could become cancer one day and if you remove all of the thyroid then all of the thyroid problems will have disappeared. Now that's a very short-sighted approach, which most of the time fails, because once you remove the thyroid entirely, you are in troubled waters because it's very difficult to replace a thyroid, even with hormones. Let's not get into this too far. Um, the patient didn't want surgery and she came to see me with the question, if you could actually remove the liquid um, by applying a puncture. If you are puncturing a thyroid cyst, however, what usually happens, especially if you do it repeatedly, is you have a milking effect. You drain the cyst and it refills, and by puncturing, puncturing it, it repeatedly, what you're doing is you're sending a message to the thyroid that you're actually interested in gaining liquid from it. And it's a very helpful organ, and it's a misunderstanding, actually. By applying, applying pressure to the thyroid, you could probably um, prevent a lot of new liquid uh, to be built up inside, but you are in the neck in an area where pressure will probably cut off uh, the air or um, damage cartilage or at least cause a very unpleasant sensation. So puncturing the thyroid is generally not a good idea. So what to do? And when I saw this and I saw the patient and I was trying to muster all my holistic knowledge, I was saying, well, it appears to me that you are from a homeopathic standpoint an iodine a sensitive person, you are processing iodine much more efficiently than the average person and what appears to have happened with you is uh, that you are storing a surplus of iodine containing pre-hormones within that cyst. Um, there's a psychosomatic approach to this where you can explain why the person is storing up all this energy um, uh, containing substances 
like saving for a rainy day. Um, what has happened within a period of about one year is that the cyst has disappeared without puncturing or without any surgery. It has shrunk to the size of this small liquid filled structure. Um, the thyroid has, has reappeared. It is actually, this is the border of the thyroid. It's not a very clear border. I think there's still an inflammatory process inside, which is something that happens to most thyroids during the course of our lives. Um, but it's a very drastic change. I mean, we no longer see this huge swollen cyst because the patient has just followed a very, uh, I would say, small and not very spectacular advice. I told her to cut out iodine in her diet. So she no longer ate any iodine rich foodstuffs. She no longer used uh, iodine, iodinized salt. And within one year, the structure disappeared. So sometimes when treating the thyroid, less is more.